ケーキすごく甘いから。そう。うん。もっと甘い。<笑>これはお稽古してる時に着物をみんな。ね。みかん十七歳の誕生日だってもう。十七じゃないよ。十二歳。十二歳。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳だった。十二歳あ、ここにいました。ここにいました。誰かな。あ、これ、虹の里、はい、修善寺。お母さん。そう。私にもなんか似てる,似てるね。うん。お願い。This is my prime。温泉行った時、これ着物着てます。そう。<笑>キューパジャマ。あの、シャワーにしようの、いとやけど。ハミーブ、お疲れ様です。There are thirty percent off. Wow. Can you believe this is on sale? Yeah, these are like pristine. Here, try one. Oh my god, that was so sweet. It was amazing. <laughs> Room tour time. We're staying in Fujisan Moshima Tokyo Hotel now. We just got back from Yamashima. It took like four hours to get here. We're not really settling in. We're gonna leave today. Here's the bed. There's Chris.、It、has really good lighting at night. This glows. Wow, if there's a little day bed, which is really nice. And then we have a view of Mishima. And we're on the 11th floor. And then on the 14th floor, there's an onsen with a view of. Mount Fuji, apparently. Super convenient hotel. We really like it, right, Chris? So pretty. We got the corner room for our end of our trip. We splurged. Oh, nice clock. And they gave us chocolate. We got here around four o'clock. We checked out of our hotel in Mishima today. We had breakfast there and then we went to see my grandma. 
and now we're here. I don't really know this area, but it's near Nihonbashi, kind of near Tokyo Station. So far, I really like it. The hotel is beautiful. Um, I've just been getting used to like getting to a hotel and then we have to pack the next day. And that's been really exhausting. So it's nice that we have this hotel for three nights. This is the end of our trip. And I feel like there's not enough time to do everything. It's a lot, like there's so much to do here. And obviously like it's so exciting. You don't want to miss out on anything. I feel pretty content. I feel like we've had a very successful trip so far in all of our travels. We haven't really hit many roadblocks. Today we got to Tokyo and then instantly we went out to go eat at Tea Stantan, which is this vegan ramen place that's in Tokyo Station. And I've been there a few times. I used to walk by it like 10 years ago. I used to go to school in Tokyo. And so that kind of helped me navigate where this restaurant was, but it's really hidden and you have to go into the ticket station even if you're not going anywhere on train. And it's really helpful if you have Suica on your phone because it won't charge you. It was really good, it was still very good. We went near Tokyo station, we went to Beams, just like this one shopping. We also went to Kite and there was like a Christmas tree, there was illumination and yeah, you know, it's like Christmas time. There's a lot of decorations and it's really cute. This hotel's really nice, so we want to use the bath. You can make your own bath salts downstairs, so we did that. I just wanted to say hi and check in because barely filmed today. I just am letting things happen and I'm not really thinking of like, taking my camera out. Although I really want to like film every moment possible. I think I'm also getting a little fatigued because it's been like two weeks of non-stop filming. Guys, this hotel is too nice. I wish we were staying longer. here but not this. I need to figure out what it is. The happiest person? Which one? <laughs> We did it. Famous coffee in Japan. We did it. Okay, now let's move on. Okay. Okay, this officially happened, y'all. I reached my limit. I also have like plugged ears today, like happened out of nowhere. I don't know if you've ever been out with plugged ears, but it's so annoying. I'm so tired. <laughs> hey, hi, 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 ha, ah. I feel a little better. The thought of going outside right now doesn't make me feel super excited, but I thought I would show what I bought today. We went to Itoya, which I've never been to. It's like a huge stationery store in Ginza that's like 12 stories or something which sounds insane but it's like a thin building i got these calligraphy pens there and i was honestly i wasn't feeling good so i was like i'm not gonna get anything i just want to get in and out of here i started playing with these pens and then this was like you should get one and then i got four 
Oh yeah, it says pure blue. Pure blue and splash. They have two sides, and me and Chris actually both took type design class, and you have to like learn how to draw with calligraphy pen, so we're like, hee hee. Some silver. And this one is just so pretty. And then I was like, should I get color pencils? Being in that store kind of inspired me. We got these diffuser scents. It's called Omnibus Fragrance Scent. But it smells so good. It's so cute. It's like this big. And I got one for my sister because she's watching Choco right now. This is a very big container for how small it is. I'm just realizing. I got one of these. I know you probably don't know what this is from <laughs> looking at it, but if you've ever been to Japan during New Year's, maybe you'll recognize this all on like everyone's front door. In Japanese New Year, as a Shinto tradition, we decorate Shimenawa, Shimenawa, a sacred robe festoon for inviting Toshigami-sama, the god of New Year, which is believed to bring health and happiness to you and your family. Let's see, but we're going to put this on the inside of our door. I can talk about some other things. I got this dog keychain from Young Ramen in Mishima. One of those light reflector keychains. And it like shines so bright. These gummies are my favorite here for my birthday. I went to Gentle Monster in Osaka. It's the style Rococo. And yeah, I was actually looking at the rounded ones. The size actually kind of hurt my face, so I was like, maybe not. But I was coming to Tokyo knowing I wanted to buy these because it's much cheaper over here right now. That's all I'm going to share right now. I have a few other things, but they're in my suitcase. I think the reality of traveling is that at this point, it's been almost two weeks of nonstop activity where we have had chill times but there's been a lot in between everything where we're like getting on trains getting on buses i was doing really well as someone who needs breaks in my regular life feeling the fatigue of traveling a little bit and it's hard when you're traveling because all you want to do is go out and do everything i'm like showing all the pretty sides and like it's all amazing and beautiful and everything's great but also the reality is like um, we're still humans who need rest and uh, girl is 30 now so like things are catching up with me I can feel it well hopefully next time you see me I'll be outside doing things feeling good it's raining outside and I just walked into the hotel and my shoes were super squeaky through the quiet lobby and it was a little embarrassing decided to stay in definitely not feeling the best so yeah I got myself a kidding beer mini and I was like this kind of feels too small so I got two Still doesn't equal one beer. And I also got myself a juice for tomorrow. Don't mind this.
you. <laughs> You're trying to get me. 